The mission of Opportune Indy is to help improve the life outcomes for young black men ages 14 to 24 in Marion County, Indianapolis. Our vision is to be known as a city where black men thrive. I was a part of the initial task force and coming out of that task force, it was apparent that based upon the work that we were doing nationwide, that we should take a lead position in being able to support this particular uh, opportunity within the Indianapolis community. As part of USA Fund's focus on completion with a purpose, we're working to connect youth to resources that will lead them to productive futures. Opportune Indy's own work to transform the lives of Indianapolis youth, particularly African American males, is a perfect fit for this work. I'm Julie Grice and I have the pleasure of serving as the co-chair for Opportunity's employment focus area. We have a huge gap to fill in Indianapolis to match young black men with our employment and workforce needs. And the chamber has been a partner for this program from the initial days, the initial concept days, because as a regional economic development entity, our workforce and the quality and viability of our workforce is the foundation of the strength of our economic development. And right now, in Indianapolis, we have 20% more people living in poverty than ever before. And that's just not a tenable environment for, for anyone, let alone those who live in the most challenging of circumstances. And Opportune Indy is committed to changing that. We're not raising our men uh, with the village mentality. When you're not collaborating uh, together, when there's one mission, one vision, one organization, you'll continue to miss the mark. I support Opportunity Indy because it helps provide a pathway to higher education and meaningful careers for young men who look like me. Having worked my way up at Harrison College to become one of the first minority campus presidents, I know firsthand what's possible when Opportunity meets preparation. We have a critical community crisis right now with young African-American males in our community. It's time for all of us to work together to do something about it. Peace Learning Center works to help young people learn protective factors that will help them be resilient against violence and problems in our society. So what we try to do with Opportune Indy is try to help young African Americans learn that personal responsibility, but then also get that hope that they can survive and thrive in our community. Hi, my name is James Wilson. My path to becoming a responsible husband, father, and contributed citizen has been lined with many bumps in the road along the way. Choices I made early in life landed me in prison, but being able to have opportunity to be given a second chance, doors has opened. It is my desire to provide a better way for our young people in our city that can't find a way or a lost hope. When you're put in a situation to where you don't have much and you're taking care of your little brother and your sisters or your household uh, in general, you're going to do what you feel that you have to do to survive. The 
The focal point for me um, after serving four years in incarceration, having surrounded myself by people that believed in me more than anything, that mentor, um, that mentored it inside prison, it was another offender that took the time out to help educate me about life and understanding the opportunities that maybe present itself if I really get grounded and rooted in who I really was. Because one of the things that we constantly focus on is everybody else, but we don't focus on self and we lead into that point of identity crisis. So in our neighborhood, uh, we're too busy trying to fit in and we're trying to be down and we're not being self. And if we be self, more importantly, they can open up doors astronomically because we get to know our talents, our strengths, and our capabilities. We have also decided that maybe the best way to kind of test how we go about our work is to look at a specific neighborhood. And we chose um, probably the most challenged one in Indianapolis is the 46218 zip code area. Families and scholars who live, uh, reside in the Opportunity Zone experience a, a lack of educational attainment. They experience a lack of jobs, a lack of job skills. What you see because of those conditions are high crime. We have to really work on how can we, instead of punishing kids for bad behavior, how can we teach them the right behavior that we want to see out of them? It's about having a very humanistic approach and uh, just having real conversations. So that involves, you know, speaking at high schools and uh, speaking at events and uh, being mentors uh, for young men coming up. So I think it's really important for us, and especially with Opportune Indy, for the whole community to step forward and do something about the problems that we have. And I think that when you look at the rich history of um, philanthropy in the Indianapolis community and in the state of Indiana, that we all have a responsibility and a charge in order to be able to be um, corporate minded in terms of our ability to support an initiative that's going to impact each and every one of us from this point forward. At the end of the day, it's really about the folks who are um, in the trenches, the many organizations and uh, individuals that are doing honorable work on behalf of our community, but specifically to address issues of African-American men. As we come together as an extended network, we can have so much greater impact when we're working together.